We're here with Sam Hurt, uh, creator of iBeam, and paintings. And paintings, yeah. And various other artworks. So uh, what do you got here? Well, I've got my, uh, I guess the biggest news, especially relevant to this event, is a new collection of my iBeam cartoons. Now are these uh, new things that you did specifically for this book, or are they a collection of older ones? A collection of, uh, for my weeklies in the last 10 years. Okay. There's Hank the Hallucination. There he is. Uh, we were talking earlier out, outside about your, uh, your, daily, your daily Texan days. Yes. With uh, Hank the Hallucination. Uh-huh. And uh, Sam had a, has a character, uh, Hank the Hallucination, that actually won... Uh, uh, student government student president. Student government president, yes. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, sure. Uh, are you uh, sick of that story yet? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's sort of my official uh, entry into the annals of uh, obscure Keep Austin Weird history, I guess. Yeah, I actually heard that story before I ever met you. Uh -huh. Like, oh, there was this one guy. That, right, uh, right. Yeah. Remember when we did our show? We did our show and, and we did the artist? Tim. He was just telling me about Hank, the hallucination. And how I got elected as president for UT. That's awesome. You don't remember in the show? The show we did. That you hosted. And, and in that show, we did an artist? Yes, that was him. Okay. Yeah. The student government had been abolished by the students of the University of Texas and for a few years. And then, of course, it was brought back. And I think it was the first election since it had been restored. And uh, I had just started law school. And some of my fellow law students were kicking around the idea of running a cartoon character. They said, you should run I-Beam. I thought, you know, if I was going to run a, a character for my strip, it would be Hank the Hallucination because he doesn't exist. Yeah. So it just there's so much to work off of that. And uh, so he ended up, he was a write-in candidate. Uh, he wasn't on the ballot, but he got more uh, votes than any two of the other real candidates put together. <laughs> and uh, one of his, his most uh, adept competitor, uh, what do you call it, the person he was running against was a guy named Paul Begala, and Paul went, uh, well, went on to become student government president because Hank was unable to serve for some reason, <laughs> and uh, Paul went on to become part of uh, Carville Begala, who helped get uh, Clinton elected, and now is a talking head on uh, CNN. How many comments do you think you've done? I figured it out uh, doing a daily. You do one daily? I did a daily all through the 80s and part of the 90s. And so you got to figure that's uh, oh, 300 and something a year. That's like three. Well, 365. Over yeah. 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, several times. So you've thousand. done probably at least 5,000 dollars. Yeah. And two or three of them are decent. <laughs> wow. So you made your living all these years doing comics? Oh, no, no. no. Okay. <laughs> How about now? Now I'm mostly painting is my biggest uh, source of art. Yeah, I saw oh. nine paintings over the, over the holidays. And that's the stuff we featured on the show. Okay. So uh, you also do paintings. Indeed, I do. And these are small facts. I've seen your paintings. These these are very yeah, small. Yeah, the, the, these, things these are, are prints that are much smaller, printed on note cards. And this one is uh, this one is actually my favorite one. I own this one, and it's uh, you look at it and you're, you're trying to figure out what it's about, and you know it's like this plant thing. And on the back, the title of the painting is Lefty, and that yeah. made me crack up. It all comes home <laughs> right then. Where can we get this stuff? Oh, uh, yeah, I just put it out here to tease people. Put it out, and then people come to buy. And I'm sorry, that's the last one. <laughs> that's well, it. These are collector's like, items. Like, can I look at it? Like, <laughs> yeah, you can look at it. I'm not going to do that. Uh, whatever that movie hype is, but uh, no, I sell uh, all this stuff at uh, Avenue Gallery on yep. South Congress Avenue. And you frequently uh, have art there at. That gallery. The Avenue, yeah, actually, that's my one spot I'm year round. I yeah. do occasional shows, events at other places in the Christmas bazaars, South Congress, right in the precociously precious uh, portion of South Congress Avenue. Soco. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think we're. I think that's cool. Yeah, I think, I that think wraps that, it up. That, that, that was awesome, it, right? Man. Yeah. Okay.
Well, we'll you get to go back and edit that down to like 15 <laughs> seconds. Yeah.